dab. What a boy. It's the Fleet Admiral Awesome here in with another episode of My Kingdom 4 and Empire MK4E. What up? What are we doing today? I'll tell you what we're doing today. Once I open up the Minecrafts, ooh, we're at Horatio right now. You know, that village I started building around a uh, shipwreck. And it's real simple right now. I just got a depot, a battery, and the shipwreck itself. And we got some villagers in here. I transported them over from Avicenna, and they are populating this tiny little humble hamlet. And I got all the... I left my maps here. That's why I came back here. I was in Avicenna. I left my maps here. So I got my maps because we are, you know, we're filling up that hall of maps. And we got to get all the right places. So I've got all the stuff here. I got to grab... Uh, I took down the trees. I took down a tree harvest to Evicenna, and I grabbed every wooden object I had left there, because most of it get tr got transported here. Grabbed the hoe too, and some stones and some stairs, and we are gonna go over to Charlemagne, and we are gonna fortify because I've been putting that off for about a month and a half now. <laughs> it's pretty sad. It's pretty uh, and not very sharp of me, but you know, because oh my gosh, that's such an impossible village. It is way high up. And, mm, it's going to be some serious work. Very intense. And I've been procrastinating on it too long. It's like the second closest village. It might even be closer than Boethus. I don't know. So we got to, I got to get on that. Wasting too much time. Can't waste any more. That's it. And we're going to fortify it. And then we're going to, mm, settle down there at Charlemagne. And we're going to start another tree harvest and we're gonna push on up to Dante and we're gonna fortify that because I've been I haven't been there since I discovered it Dante I literally haven't been there since I discovered it and that is no bueno no bueno all right let's get going see how bad this lags because I got a lot of things open at the bottom right as you can see I got the YouTube open I don't need that open I don't need the an internet server bye bye Horatio by the way that desert temple over there I don't think you can see it's just beyond between those two hills there I'm gonna build a little town there called Nelson oh look it's merging into view yeah see you can see the pyramid like shape yeah, because we got Horatio and Nelson. Horatio, Nelson. It's fitting. It's appropriate. Ain't nothing getting in there. That's going to branch out in the water. It's going to be more of an ocean village because that's what's up. There's that mountain. <laughs> Only half rendered because of lag. I got a pot of chili cooking right now. It smells great. I had some kimchi. Again, it's some kimchi. Gotta love that fermented cabbage. Wonderful smells. Wonderful smells. It's basically spicy Korean sauerkraut. Put some kimchi in the chili because I had to use it up somehow. And while this is traveling, let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir the pot. And uh, I'll speed this all up, or I'll cut through it rather. Bingo! I'm also baking a loaf of bread right now. Can you smell it? No, you can't. No, you cannot. Sorry. It's not how the internet works yet. Emphasis on yet. What do you have, Ducky? Oh, you got a leaf? That's okay. You can chew a leaf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a pretty puppy. Come on, 
Say hi to the computer. Come on. Up, up. Jump. Jump. Up. 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 Jump. Jump. Up. Up. Jump. You can do it. You can do it. Jump. 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 Right there. Yeah, that's the internet right there. That's the internet. You see them watching? You see them watching? Puppy? Isn't she a pretty puppy? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And we're back in Avicenna. <laughs> Alright, I need it. That took about six times as long as it had to. Let's check out the Hall of Maps real quick. You can see there's a missing piece. Boethius, Avicenna, Horatio, and Nelson. There's nothing really there for Nelson. See the cursor circling around it? It's not really built anything there. All this there is a desert temple. But that will change! That's what we're all about. Change! Like Obama. Barack Obama. President Barack Obama. And the rest of his family. Yeah, it's a nice little map. Missing piece. Charlemagne's gonna go, I think, right here. Yeah, right there. I imagine. In the meantime, let's, uh... Take one of these down. Put it right there. Oh, I gotta go to my anvil. We got cut off last time I was riding the horse because the startup desk filled up. Got too many video files. Too many video files. So I've just, uh, I've moved uh, a lot of files over to my, uh, what do you call it? Mmm. Mmm. External and that's where I'm just saving files from now on. Oh Man, he looks like he's floating midair. But no, he's in the apothecary All right, oops wrong building that's the armory we want the forge aka the blacksmith Call this Horatio is that Horatio? Yes. Yes, it is Scoot our boots to the hall of maps. That's a 10. Cool. Avicenna, Horatio. And then we're going to, you know, it's going to intermittently go that way. All right, off we go to Charlemagne, and I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to grab a horse. Take the fastest method of travel. And right now my favorite uh, horse is Pepper, because I think she's fastest. I could be wrong. There might be really no difference there, but I like Pepper the best. Oh, look at her go! Oh, she's so pretty! Pepper. And then, of course, we got Pumpkin here, Nutmeg there, and Cinnamon right there. Yes, they're all named after spices. What, are you going to judge me? <laughs> all right, we're going to need a lead. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to have to drag her at times. All right, we are on Pepper. Opening the gate. There's the front gate. We gotta close it behind us. So that no zombos get in. And off we go to Charlemagne. It's gonna take like seconds. At least it would without all this lag. Here we are in Charlemagne. Once it finished loading. Oh, I can't access my inventory either. Oh man, something, something seriously wrong. Oh, oh, oh. Got a whole lot of delayed reactions, I think. <laughs> she's, she's stuck doing that. Oh! There we go. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Let's go ahead and cut a hole here. Bang. Come on, Pep. 
Come on, Pep. Come on. Come on. Oh. I'll go ahead and ride you in there. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> something in there later. Remind me never to cut this tree down. <laughs> All right, looks good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you here. Hey, let's ride this down while we're at so we don't hurt ourselves. That's the easiest way, I think. I'm gonna leave you here and I'll come back once I do something interesting because we got a lot of boring work to do before we get into the nitty gritty. Also, I gotta find where I put my bed. Oh, Alright, we are back. We are in Charlemagne right now. As you can see, I've set up a little work area to do my work. Got the place fenced off, grass cleared out. Looks pretty good. Got some villagers that seem to like the new arrangements. Pepper's in this house here. As you can see, I got a couple gates. So I can let her in and out at will. I'm in a map. And look at this. Like, from an aerial view, this village just looks like any normal village. But at the same time, it's like because of this huge jut in the landscape, a lot of the stuff was pushed up real high. Um, enough blocks probably so that, to the, according to the game mechanics, it might be like two separate villages. But also, if you look at the map, I've discovered uh, the, all the buildings at the top left. Those are all the ones you see here. But the ones at the very top, especially those two fields at the bottom of the map, I haven't even discovered those yet. I have, so they must be way up there. Put some stairs up here to make things a little bit more accessible. As you can see, everything's all nice and fen fenced off. Welcome to Charlemagne. Everything should be mostly safe for the villagers. I dug up into the mountainside and I dug up into the blacksmith up here of which they are moving back and forth freely, which is good. And I've dug up even more up here. I've yet to put stairs yet, but you know, it's a work in progress, we're getting there. No rush. Although I do have Spanish homework due in a few hours, so I have to maybe rush a little bit. And then that continues to go up here. And then Oh, I better fence that off, huh? We don't want any villagers falling to their deaths. Here we are. Oh, that looks nice. Got a little overlook. Could almost see uh, headquarters from here. If I, I'll, you know, if I sp spread out the, uh, the chunk, uh, the chunk loading, if I increase that, we would be able to see headquarters from here. But that would make this game run way slower than it is already. So we can't have any more lag, and what has allowed us. This door also opens to <laughs> a quick death, <laughs> and so we'll fix that right now. Make a little porch, why not? Let's see if we can see anything else from here. Yeah, this looks nice. Gotta hold the button on shift to crouch, otherwise you just slip right out. There we go, give these guys a nice little balcony. Bing. Bang. Boom. And Brussels sprouts. And of course I built this staircase that goes right up to the top of the building. And we got a villager perched way up, up there, off on the side. Hang on for dear life. See him? 
I've yet to figure out how to get to them. But I got ladders in store, so we're gonna go ahead and climb up. I think I missed a block. Nope, we're good. Hopefully this will get us to the top. Hey, look at that. Hey, we've discovered the missing village. Missing, the missing portion of the village. It's way up here. We got villagers inside. How nice. Look at that. I get these torches out. You guys should be safe in there. That's coarse dirt I'm digging up. Yep. Look at that. We are way up here. Oh, there's a missing field. Haha. <laughs> I think, yeah, that covers the rest of the village. Cool. Cool, daddy. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going up. Look at that. Well, I mean, a little bit further up, but man. This is some extreme landscape. Uh oh, Zombo in the shadows. As I was saying, a quick way down, this here waterfall. Oh. Wee! Hold down the shift so we can zoom down it. It opens up this little pool here that I uh, dirtied off earlier, if you remember. And then. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump from here. Boom, 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 boom. Wee. Also, another thing I found when digging out uh, downstairs. I love how the game mechanics, village spawning, put that dirt there so they can't jump up and out. In fact, I don't remember this being here. This has got to go. It's a safety hazard. <clears throat> I found this neat little grotto. Because the game, the village, the village seed interacted with this cave and it spawned this itty bitty patch of path, which is neat. And I lit it up so nothing spawns in here and the villagers can hang out in there and I don't know, make love. We'll see. I'm not judging. That's totally unnecessary. There we go. Eat some pork. All right, next of, next for our objectives is I want to fence off the top portion there that we just discovered. Oh, way up there, not even that. That's like halfway up. Isn't that insane? It's totally insane. I want to fence off the rough. We're going to put a depot over here. But more importantly, I want to get these trees growing so we can get lots of nice orange wood because it's a nice color of orange. Comment below if you like the color orange. All right, and I'll be right back in a minute. For you, it'll be a second. <laughs> Hello, my babies. I'm just taking a lunch break. Don't mind me. I got some chili that I made last night with some kimchi in it. Way too salty. I made this way too salty. It is really salty. So I have to uh, wash it down with strawberry uh, soft drink to keep it mellow in my mouth. Know what I'm saying? Anyway, so uh, we are still in Charlemagne, and I have... I would say I'm like about 95, 90, 90 to 95% finished fortifying it. Uh, everyone say hi to Pepper. Just jumping on my bed like a very bad girl. Got everything but up there. Up there has not been fortified or torched or fenced off. Simply because it's very difficult to uh, reach. It's very, very high up, very difficult to reach. But, you know, the sm spawn chances up there are pretty slim. I'm not too worried about it. I'll eventually uh, do like a line across it. I mean, look at that. Those buildings up there are way above the clouds. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, that's not the way to get out of here. Ugh, I hate this place. I need, a, I need a gate on that side. That's all there is to it. 
I accidentally stripped one of these, so I just stripped the other three for uniformity. I think it looks pretty good. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Put the stairway to heaven. As you can see there, it is, <laughs> there's a lot of work. I had to stop twice to sleep during which, and uh, yeah, it's, I'm not a huge fan of it. First of all, I came up short big time. I way underestimated how where to start. I should have started it like way beyond those cactuses. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of my life. Oh man, I got this mob lag. I love it. I love the mob lag. Uh, die. How many hits is it going to take? Okay, I've hit you four times now. You are five? No. Six? Okay, this is weird mob lag. I cannot kill. There we go. Seven hits. To get to the center of a tissue pop, I hear more movement. I think it's just them rabbits. Come here, experience. I need you. As you can see, I'm like only up to five now. It's because I fell off earlier. Go figure. I knew I would. I should have been more careful. And I lost my stake in the process. I, re I got all my items back. All except my stake. I don't know what happened to my stake. Or my pork chops. So, oh, cactus. So I'm eating, you know, I dug up that field there and now I'm eating carrots. But yeah, this goes way up there. And it doesn't even reach the top. Oh, and that, that villager that was clinging to dear life on the side of the hill. Uh, no sign of him. Which we can only assume the worst. Just gonna go up these stairs here to see how things looking upstairs. Got everything fenced off. Looks pretty nice, pretty neat. I'm digging it. A little food plot here. Oh, I gotta fix this. No problem. Just gonna do one of these. Uh, <coughs> pretty good. <coughs> There's the ladder there. It goes down, down, down. Alright, we got what? Three buildings up here? Yeah, three buildings and two food plots. And there's that food plot way down. Oh, darn, I can't see it because of the fence. Oh, there it is. See it? Way down there. I don't know if I'm going to make that reachable or not. Seems like a lot of extra work for just a food block. So yeah, things are looking pretty good. I'm about done with this village. I have decided that Charlemagne is going to be my second metropolis. I figured it's close enough, but far enough away from headquarters over at Evicenna that they can grow safely without touching tips and it's gonna look pretty good because we've got this village up here and we've got the one way down there a couple buildings in between so uh, we got a lot of room to add stuff in between a lot of buildings up here add buildings down there and a couple in the middle it'll look pretty good and I'll try to keep the orange theme and the uh, acacia wood going on well that's it for now what do you guys think of my fortifications and my progress with this impossible village? My God. Oh, it took so long. So much work. So much materials. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think, what you're doing, if you found any villages as weird as this one. And also be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and challenge your friends to this challenge too. But just make sure you uh, give a shout out to me, the creator, the Fleet Admiral Awesome. I've been Johnny, keep it spicy my meatballs. <laughs>